Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today. Now, have you ever wanted to export a piece of audio from another application on your iOS device and bring it right here into GarageBand? Well, in today's GarageBand for iPhone quick tip, we're gonna be showing you how. So a big thanks to viewer Brian who had the idea for this quick tip and he actually put me onto an app called Oxy which is this dark mysterious application here. And what Oxy is, is a beat making or groove making kind of app where you can put together your own beats and grooves using a very simple sort of grid pattern. It's a fairly familiar sort of interface if you've done beat creation before. Now I'm not gonna go into detail about Oxy. There's plenty of videos out there and the app itself actually has some really good tutorials included in the app. But what I am gonna show you is if you create a beat or a groove in Oxy or any other app that supports the standard iPhone or iOS exporting features, then how do we actually do that and get that into GarageBand? So let's jump in. First thing we wanna do here is tap over here and you'll notice down the bottom here we have an export button. So I've created my performance here, which I'll show you in a moment. And now I'm going to export this. So I'll tap on the export button. Now Oxy likes to do this in portrait mode. So I'm gonna flip around here. I've already rendered, but I'll re-render my project here, first of all. So that's gonna render, and what that means is it's just mixed down the multiple tracks into one audio file. And now what I can do, if we go to the bottom of the screen here, we have an export option. Let's hit export. And we've got all of these options here. So we can go to SoundCloud, we can create a video, which is basically just a, a still image with the audio. The audio itself, which will export it as an AAC, M4A file. We can share the project if you want to share it with another Oxy user. And we've got this more option here. So let's tap on more because this is what we actually want. We want this uncompressed wave. So this will give us the best quality recording exported to our device. So let's hit uncompressed wave. And now we get a familiar looking screen here, which gives us the options of where we can export this to. So you'll notice here that sadly, GarageBand is not one of them. So we can export it, uh, import it into iMovie, we can do a bunch of other things with this audio, but we can't get it straight to GarageBand. However, we do have a workaround and that is using iCloud Drive. So let's tap on iCloud Drive. We will open up here and it will ask us where we want to actually put that. And I'm going to just choose to put it straight in the iCloud Drive folder. If you've got other folders there, then you can use wherever you want to. Now, if you've got an iOS device and you've got an Apple ID, you've got an iCloud drive, even if you don't realize it, and you've got up to five gigabytes of storage, so plenty to put some audio files on there. So now we've actually got that on our iCloud drive. What we wanna do, double click and go back over to GarageBand. And now I'll go in through the audio recorder. The reason I do that is that I can then tap on here and go straight to our section here where we've got our track layout. Now, I've shown you before in the Apple Loops video how to use Apple Loops, and we actually go in via the same way to get to an audio file. So let's tap on this little loop icon, and here's our options here. But instead of Apple Loops, we wanna choose audio files. So here's the audio files that I already have stored on this phone that I've imported either from my iCloud drive or using iTunes file sharing. There's a couple of videos on both of those down below if you wanna check those out and learn how to do that. But what I wanna do right now is actually import from my iCloud drive. So I'm going to tap on that. Now I'm gonna find the recording that's somewhere in here. If we look for today's date, which is the 25th, it's this one here. I'll tap it and in it comes, and in just a moment, we've got our file there. So there's our latest rendered file. Now to bring this into our project, all we need to do is tap and hold. We'll turn into this track, pop it on our track, and we're good to go. So now if I hit play, Yes, that's an electronic version of my own theme music. So uh, there you go. I figured that wouldn't get in copyright trouble doing that. Anyway, there's one more thing that you might have noticed here is that this is not in sync with our project here. So if we tap the settings here and look at our tempo, it's 110 beats per minute. So if I double click and go back to Oxy, what I can do is actually check 
the beats per minute of this track by going into our settings at the top here. And we can see it's actually a tempo of 123. So all I need to do in GarageBand to correct this is go back to my project, go to tempo and up this to 123 beats per minute. Tap that and now when I play back, it should be perfectly, fingers crossed, in sync with my metronome. Beautiful. So now you can see that from here, we can actually add in any other instruments that we want. You can add some extra percussion. You can put your vocals over there, guitars, any other thing that you want to record, you can now throw it onto this track. So a really quick, simple, powerful way to export any audio from any source into your iCloud drive, as long as it's a WAV file or an AAC or an AIF, some sort of for file format supported by GarageBand, you're going to then be able to pull it into your GarageBand project and use it from there. So thanks, Brian, again for the suggestion on this tip, and I hope you found it useful. Mm -hmm.